the world of adult animation has been in a really bad place for a while now. With the exception of a few shows like Primal, Close Enough, and Unicorn Warriors Eternal, it feels like every single new adult animated series has been trying to copy the success of The Simpsons and Family Guy, mostly Family Guy, with little success. But would you believe me when I say that there was a time from the late 90s to early 2000s when we were getting a lot of unique adult animated series, and one of those series was Clone High. Created by then newcomers to the animation industry, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, the series revolves around clones of historical figures going into a high school called Clone High. Now, it was a really funny show that had a unique art style and had likable characters but was sadly cancelled after only one season by its network MTV because of a certain character that we'll be talking about later. But was luckily brought back this year for a reboot that has aired on Mish Ma I mean, <clears throat> Max. That's really what you're gonna call your new streaming service, Warner Brothers Discovery? Really? God, oh my kid, why am I even questioning this company? They've made so many crappy decisions that I'm not even gonna get into it today. Anyway, so I watched the first four episodes that are available right now, and... Eh, it's okay, I guess. Now, before I talk about the series, I must discuss the elephant in the room. Gandhi, arguably the funniest part of the original show, is absent in this reboot. And while I do understand, since he was the main reason why the original show was cancelled in the first place, considering that the real Gandhi's reputation has been tarnished over the years, I think it would be perfectly fine if they brought him back. Anyways, back to the series, I was shocked to find out how unfunny the reboot is when compared to the original. Don't get me wrong, the reboot is still funny, but when compared to the original, it really does stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, the original made me laugh out loud so many times, yet in the reboot I can only think of one or two moments that actually made me laugh out loud. Not to mention that I agree with everyone when I say that I am not a fan of the character designs for the new clones. I mean, they're not bad on their own, but when compared to the more simpler character designs of the original cast, they really do stick out like a sore thumb, especially Frida, who is way too over-designed to be in this show. That and the animation can be a little bit choppy. I mean, it's still good and definitely nowhere near as bad as something like the Loud House movie, but you can definitely tell the decrease in quality animation-wise from the original. Also, the backgrounds are hit or miss. While some can look quite as good as they did with the original with the UPA influence, others, like the cafeteria, look really bad. I know it sounds like I've been shitting on this reboot the whole time, but believe me when I say that there are some good things about this reboot, like characters like JFK are still really funny, and even some of the new clones like Chris Columbus are really good. Overall, the Clone High reboot is decent. Not as good as the original, but it's a decent way for newcomers to get introduced to these characters. And besides, it's Phil Lord and Chris Miller, how can you not like their work? I mean, we're talking about the same guys that directed the Lego movie and produced Spider-Verse, so clearly, these guys have talent. Though I swear to god, Lord and Miller, if you don't bring back Gandhi for season 4 like you claim you would, I am gonna-